Hey, it's Tim. Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Let's talk about a new truck day. <laughs> new truck day. Always like new trucks. We have a 2024 Chevy Colorado. It's a ZR2, the Bison Edition. This is American Ex- Expedition Vehicles collaboration with General Motors, and it creates a vehicle. In the Chevy world, we're calling it a Bison. In the GMC world, we're calling it AEV. Similar idea. But so let's talk about this truck and this video. It's going live as you see it. You'll see it on the website, pickuptrucktalk.com. This video goes live. The story's got the details in as well. Just wrote it up. They don't have any uh, B-roll of the truck. They don't have any really a lot of information. I have photos. So let's talk about what it is first, and then we'll get to what the photos look like, because that's what you want to see, too. So basically, you're going to take the Colorado ZR2, and you're going to add many of the collaboration parts from American Expedition Vehicles. And actually, AV had an engineer working with GM engineers during the development of this truck, which is kind of really cool. Uh, the Bison uses the AV heavy-duty winch capable steel front bumper. They have a, a come-up winch you can add to that. AEV AEV steel rear bumper and AEV fender flares. This is similar to what the Silverado 1500 ZR2 Bison gets and also the HD ZR2 Bison. It's aggressive stance enhanced with AEV 17 inch speed lock capable wheels plus 35 inch off road mud train tires. So 35 inch tires, yes, 35s. Stock from factory. I'm just excited for a lot of people. Uh, equipped with the boron steel skid plates. These are the skid plates that boron steel is a lightweight metal. But it's much stronger than steel is. It's really incredible metal. If you ever talk, listen to Dave Anderson from AV talk about it, showing golf, it's really thin, but it's super strong. Um, we have rock rails inside as well. We have the approach angle 38.2 degrees because they've cut this bumper up. Departure angle 26 degrees because they have the bumper to the back. It's raised up much better than the ZR2, or much better than stock, Colorado, I should say. Breaking over angle is 26 points. Nine degrees, and then you have 12 point inches of ground clearance all the way around. So, really, an off road looking truck. You have locking front and rear differentials, those Multimatic DSSV dampers, which are found in the ZR2, the ZR2 chassis. So, you're basically taking that ZR2, you're making it more badass. You're adding uh, steel bumpers, you're adding the boron steel skid plates. There's five of them in this truck, and you're at you're increasing the off road capability of it. And so they also have a new launch control program. They talk about this during the background they have with the, with the GM engineers. And so basically when you launch a truck, it's a system built into it. it actually learns from where your launch is and improves how it operates based on your driving ability or how you drive it as far as launching stuff. And it even learns at your first launch. And it'll adjust things like transmission shifting and throttle response to get you to launch this truck better. Yeah. <laughs> they want you to go fast. Under the hood, we have the 2.7 liter turbo inline four cylinder engine. We've seen this in the Silverado. It's all through the Colorados and the Canyon uses as well. This is the high output tune, 310 horsepower. It's paired with a new, a newly redone eight speed automatic transmission. It's not the same one they've been having problems with. Pro drive system, two speed transfer case. And then you have the distinctive flow tie front badge where that, the badge is actually outlined, allowing more airflow through. And then you have the bison badges on the exterior as well as the front headrest and all weather. Floor liners. If you don't remember, I have a lot more ZR2 Bison stuff here as far as basics. 11.3 inch touchscreen built in Google operating system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a bunch of safety features. And then they also talked a lot about how Chevy Chad Hall, you know, Chad Hall, he raced a lot of Colorados in Best of the West and uh, Baja races, and he literally beat the snot out of this Colorado. So it's uh, they think it's really going to be a very reliable vehicle. Uh, as we know, uh, Mop Gallon's not out yet. It won't be out yet until the EPAs are, are certified as numbers. Right now, looking at 16 miles per gallon across the board for the ZR2. Wait to see more about that. The GM says the Colorado ZR2 will come with about 1,050 pounds of payload, a maximum trailering capacity of 5,500 pounds. Um, my guess is this is about a $60,000 truck all day long. So here's what it looks like. We'll put this on the screen as big as we can. And so we have, you can see that that you've got the bigger stance. The 35s make it look a little bit taller. The fender flares make it a little bit wider and yeah, it just looks pretty darn cool. And so there's your back. This is the same kind of ZR2 where it's got the Chevrolet with the white and black on the back of the uh, tailgate. And we'll come around and then see it up on this moon-like landscape. Looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't, I didn't see any details on what all the colors are going to be as far as color options. And ordering banks aren't open yet, so we don't have a way to do build and price quite yet. And we come around the signs. And yeah, those are your Multimatic DSSB dampers. You can see that gold behind the wheel there and behind the shocks, excuse me, behind the control arms and the red toe hooks. And there's your Wrangler Goodyear tires. These are 30, 35s, like I said. Um, they said 37s would fit, but you're gonna have to do some cutting. So just stay with 35s, you don't need to go all crazy. Uh, this is an interesting topic. The spare tire actually fits in the back of the bed. And the reason for that, 35s don't fit underneath the bed like the normal spot for when they hold a spare tire holder. 
And they basically said, we left that space open for aftermarket to play with or consumers to play with or just have more, more ground clearance. So the spare tire is up in the bed, which if you're off-roading a lot, that's what you want anyway. Uh, yeah, just looks pretty cool. And so go around there again, those 35s, beadlock capable wheels on those as well. And yeah, those are all of the photos I have for this ZR2 Bison. Let's see if we do interior photos. I know it's going to be on the headrest. Um, there's its flexing. <laughs> it's pretty darn cool. Uh, again, you can see you can these pictures on pickuptrucktalk.com, red toe hooks. There's your there's some skill plates, and there it is. There's the AEV. So the Bison is their logo. AEV is their name. And if you do the Canyon, you have AEV. In the Colorado, you have the Bison. So Chevy versus GMC. Just trying to make those trucks you know, different from each other when people are shopping for them. And you see the AEV on the front there with that, with that license plate. And they said right behind it, it's, it's the winch. You can, you can basically bolt a winch right onto that. That's in the background there. And there's a little bit more of those shocks. The suspension look. And yeah, this is there's quite a bit going on there. I know my friend Dan Edmonds, my car and driver, can tell you a lot more details than I can on that suspension. But that is, there it is on the ZR2. So what do we know? We know it's basically a ZR2 chassis. They bolt on more skid plates. They bolt on new bumpers. They give it 35 inch tires and they have new launch control program built in as well, which probably filters way out to different ZR2s as well, I would imagine so. And uh, you can get soccer dealership. Um, looking at the later this summer bike to get that ZR2 Bison. Uh, they did talk about they're going to double production. They're trying to get more capacity out there for people to want to buy these because they actually, uh, with the last Bison, it was 2022, I believe it was, they uh, ran out of capacity. People were out, were out, were out buying what they had for supply, and so they've increased the number of supply they're going to build and give more people that want that truck more options to buy it. Yes, <laughs> but it's the perfect size. I mean, it's a smaller size, fits through the trails, off-roading a lot better. A lot of people actually like the smaller mid-size truck for off-roading, which is we're seeing a lot with Colorado, right? Screw cab only. It's basically built off-road trucks. Same thing as the GMC Canyon. That's where we're at these days in the marketplace. And uh, I think it looks pretty badass. I actually drove the prior generation Bison and uh, wow, <laughs> what a cool, cool rig. It's definitely uh, something that you aspire to buy. I know I'm looking at it pretty closely. It's like, wow, this is really darn cool. So, hey, stick around for me. Quick comments down below. What do you guys think? Is it something you don't want to buy? Something you it's just, ah, I can't do that, whatever. I don't want the turbo. I don't want this, I want that. I, I, I hear a lot of those comments. Be curious what you guys think about this one because this one looks pretty darn badass. Wish we had some B-roll. Let's see this thing in motion. I don't. All right. For more, check the videos over here. Website down below as well. PickUpTruckTalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.